For the first time ever in the history of the podcast, we welcome two guests with us. We have my roommates, Malcolm and Jaden. Unfortunately, Casey couldn't make it. He's a bum. <laughs> Doing schoolwork upstairs. Nerd. Nerd, yeah. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> welcome back to the eighth episode <laughs> of Cocktail Wieners. Today is pretty much just going to be a draft special. We're going to run around with our individual mock drafts. Say who he thinks picking who. All super individual and original. Carson copied pff.com. <laughs> I didn't pick the whole thing off there. There's some individuality. Oh, oh, okay. Am I the commissioner? All right. So who wants to start off? <laughs> okay. When yeah. do we boo? <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. I'll be Roger Goodell. I'll take it. All right. So we'll start over on this end with the two draft experts, Malcolm and Jaden. Malcolm, who's your first pick? I actually have a wild card here, and I picked Lawrence to go Ooh. first overall. I don't know if everyone else has that. <laughs> I um, have Lawrence. <laughs> I also have Lawrence. Uh, all right, I do have Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> all right, for number two, we'll start with Jaden. Jaden, who do you have? I have Zach Wilson. I, I don't think he should be going number two overall, but I'm not making decisions in New York. What can I say? Yeah, I don't think anybody's making decisions over there, to be honest. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> all right, Spencer, who do you have? Zach Wilson. Malcolm? I have Zach Wilson as well. Okay, okay, so do I. And right, then who do you guys have going for three? Spencer? I just wanted to ask if we all thought Zach Wilson was the hottest prospect. Yes. Of yeah. Just Of just quarterbacks or all players? All of them. All of them? I haven't looked at all of them that extensively. Though. Yeah, I haven't either. I'm not going to lie, Bateman is handsome. <laughs> I have not seen him. Handsome. So he might <laughs> is he drool? Is wrong. he drool worthy? <laughs> <laughs> it's close. Okay. Okay. See, out of quarterbacks, I definitely think he's the best looking. I mean, who else do you have? You have like poster boy Mac Jones. He literally looks like every frat boy. You go to any college to see a frat boy, like, oh, is it Mac Jones? No, it's not. You're getting, you're getting a little loud. Oh, sorry, sorry. I got, I got to tone it. Down. I get excited when I talk about Zach Wilson. He's just so handsome. <laughs> But I definitely think he's the most handsome because, I mean, look at Trevor Lawrence. I don't know why, but that man looks like a rat to me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not listening. That I'm poor sorry, man. Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> less attractive Fabio. Speaking <laughs> of less attractive quarterbacks, with the third pick, I have the 49ers picking a frog in Justin Fields. <laughs> he does look like a frog. Right, how about you two? What do you guys have? I actually also have Fields at three. It made it easier come later in the draft. Okay. Because I didn't want to deal with like Detroit picking up Fields at seven. <laughs> so I just had him take He's a Detroit three. fan for all of you who don't know. Jaden, how about you? I do not have um, San Francisco taking Fields. I have San Francisco going Mac Jones. Okay. Okay. And I actually have something different from even that. I have Trey Lance. <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm just saying, I think Fields is going to drop. Because of the epilepsy, like, I don't know. I don't think it's going to affect them, but I think teams are going to look at it as, like, a detrimental thing. Like, they're just going to be like, eh, I don't know if I want to deal with that. So, I, I do think Fields is not going three, but he should he should go two, in all honesty. Yeah. I agree. And he's good enough. But, yeah. But yeah. it just made it easier for me to have Fields going three later on. The fourth pick in the draft, we have the Falcons. Who do you guys all have going? I've got... um. Fields going off the board here. I think Atlanta needs to acknowledge the fact that it's hard to come by quarterbacks that are this good. Okay. They, they might not have the fourth overall pick next year. There might not be a stud quarterback on the board. Fields could be a stud. I don't think you pass that up. Matt Ryan's getting old. So you are you are officially done with Matty Ice. Matty Ice is melting. Wow. It's done. <laughs> that was a good analogy. I like that one. I don't know. I think Matty Ice still has a Super Bowl run or two left in that tank. Especially if they keep Julio, no, they not. I that's what so I have Pitts going for. Especially now that they say they want to trade Julio, I feel like they want someone else to throw to. Pitts is really good, and I feel like now they'll have Hurst and Pitts at the tight end spot, and that's going to be really good for them. I agree with that. I think it's going to be a two-headed monster. I think they're going to be a beast if they have Pitts. I had Pitts going for. Carson, do you know where Pitts went to college? Florida Gators. All right, I like it. He's paying attention. <laughs> I like it. I also had Pitts. I think that's a weird. I think that's a weird pick for them to. It's a weird placement for them. I agree, but he's such a versatile player. I feel like they could put him at tight end or wide receiver, and he'd do just fine. Which is, I think why they're doing that. 
this is also her fourth year. So um, if they don't exercise his fifth year option, he's a free agent after next year. So, I mean, they could have a hole at tight end. True. See, that's why we brought on Jaden. He knows everything about contracts and everything. <laughs> this man is a genius. I'm not a genius. I just, I'm on Twitter too much. <laughs> this this is actually Adam Schefter. Uh, you may not recognize him. New but... hairstyle. Just wanted to try something different. <laughs> That is something I was going to say in the intro. It's actually, we're all big sports fans here, but Jaden is just. I'm Goodell? No, you're Goodell. Who's he? Who's another reporter? Jesse Palmer? No, no. I don't even know who that is. See, he says this every episode. He has said Max Kessler. Every Max note. Kessler, if you're listening, I'm a big fan. Here's the here's the thing. This is the wild part. No, he, okay, but who? No, hang on, so hang on. B list. I'm a B list guy, and James the A list guy. This is the wildest part. Max Kessler is not a person. There's no one named oh, Max shit. Kessler. It's Matt. Matt. It's Matt. It's Max. Matt. Oh, whatever. Matt. Max. Same thing. It's Max Kellerman. <laughs> It's Max Kellerman. Every I don't know who Max Kessler. I think, I think that was a quarterback for like USC. <laughs> Every episode he brings up Max Kessler, like this guy does not exist. It's a freaking Adam Sandler character. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> uh, it's a bad one. <laughs> it's an Adam Sandler character. Oh my god. Oh my god. Max Kepler, I'm a fan of yours. <laughs> Did you say Kepler? That's what you said. Was. It's Max hey, Kellerman. Do you still want to be on this podcast? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I, hey, we're going to wrap up and do that all right now. <laughs> well, <laughs> unfortunately, my co host has completely thrown this podcast to shit. <laughs> yes. I meant Max Kellerman. <laughs> okay. He's a big fan. Yeah, I'm a big fan, Max Kellerman. No. Who's the NFL Network like draft guy? Like Adam Schefter's ESPN. Um, I think it, he's always on the Pat McAfee show. That's why I always hear him. I remember. I think it's Jesse Palmer. So that's who you are. Moving on from that mess, we have the Bengals at five. This is an interesting pick. Just be, it's my hometown team, actually. Cincinnati. I have them picking Panini Sewell. What, what Carson? That's you? Who I had. That's who I had. Okay. Wait, no way. That's who I had. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Malcolm. Jesse Palmer. Who'd you have over there? Jamar Chase. They're gonna. They're, oh, oh I, wow. I, I had a toss. They're they're gonna listen to their rookie quarterback. That's who he wants. He said it, and they're gonna listen to him. The, what the Ravens did it with Lamar, right? And who else did it? Uh, Kansas City when. Yeah, like, oh, yeah, because yeah, you know, having a good running back is better than having a good pair of legs, you know, making yeah. sure you have a good offensive line to protect yourself. No, he yeah, doesn't need that. He doesn't need that. So would you also listen to your quarterback, Malcolm, or would you go with your biggest need here? Oh, no. If it's me, I'm going with my biggest <laughs> need. I'm just saying that Cincinnati is going to listen to Joe Burrow. They want to make him happy. They want him to stay there. So they're going to pick Jamar Chase. OK, but this brings up another question. Do you think he is the franchise quarterback there? I, I think he might be good enough to be there. I know we didn't see much of him last season, but he was what on he was on track to like break all rookie records. I think he's very good, and I think Cincinnati should build a team around him. I do agree with drafting Sewell there, but if you want to right, listen right, to right, him, right, right, right. you take him there. What about you, Jaden? Do you think it would make any sense for them to draft Jamar Chase? I mean, Chase is a Chase is a great receiver prospect. He's the best that there's been in a really long time. Um. It just sucks that their O line is so bad because it'd be really fun to watch Burrow throw into Chase. And I mean, they got the LSU connection, um, but th- they need a tackle. They need to use their brain. Somebody's got to talk some sense into them. Can't argue with that. But do you think that Devontae Smith is better than Jamar Chase? No. Because Heisman winner, I mean, you can't Jamar, argue with Jamar that. Chase is the perfect wide receiver prospect. 
See, I would agree with that. In my opinion, I think Devontae Smith is a little bit undersized. I don't see him standing up to NFL cornerbacks. Like, you're going to take some of these cornerbacks out there that are 300, or not 300, but like two <laughs> 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 Shit, I want that corner. <laughs> <laughs> is that corner on the board somewhere? <laughs> 225, 250 pounds. You're going to see him just getting <laughs> <laughs> pushed around. In my opinion, I think I agree with you. Yeah. I think Jamar Chase is a much better prospect. I think Smith might be a more polished receiver just skill-wise, but Devonta Smith, you, you know, you got to take a lot more than just straight skill right now into account. And The interesting thing about uh, Devonta Smith is he mo- he looks more like an accountant than, a, you know, a football player out there. <laughs> if I saw him in just normal clothes, I'd be like, oh, that's from Smith's accountant right that's down the street. Done. This is a very real thing. I forget who was talking about it, but somebody who used to work in the Ravens organization talked about how this was like 15 years ago. I don't know if they still do it, but when they were looking at prospects, they would give them a face grade. And I don't think they actually used it when they were drafting, but it was a part of their process. Like they would look at the guy's picture and grade his face. So we're talking just a normal picture. Just yeah, I think like the pictures like like they take for like, you know, the picture days for schools and stuff if they're going off that spence i think you'll get drafted <laughs> hey oh that's what i'm talking about first overall pick you think hell yeah i'd have you going about 12th that's <laughs> i'd say maybe 13 lucky 13 I, we're I, at I number six dolphins yeah. yeah so who do you guys have going i've got pits going um you know i didn't have him going to atlanta at four and um what's face gesicki's contract is up after this season and uh, honestly, if they're going to take Chase, you might as well take Pitts. Yeah, no, that's definitely fair. I, I will agree with that, but I think, yeah, I had them go on Chase. How about you? This is where I had Sewell going. He's only fallen to that point. I mean, he's a really good prospect. I feel like Miami doesn't pass up on him if he's there type of thing. And okay. I have Chase gone at this point, so they're not going to be picking him either. Okay, but then would you argue Devontae Smith possibly? Because I think the Dolphins are looking to get a good wide receiver most of all. I'd, I don't know. Their offensive line is pretty good as it is. But I think I think I don't know. I do it's, think I do think that Smith is good, but I don't think he's six pick good. Okay. So like I think if they really wanted to do that and they wanted to trade down, maybe you go and seek that option. But I just didn't want to deal with that. Mm-hmm. So I think they take C. No, that's definitely fair. How about you, Spence? First trade talk of the night right there. I had him taking a Devontae Smith. You know, I think that's Really? Really? It, it <laughs> says that on your paper here? Really? All right. Nice. I see that. I like that. Hey, I don't have to use paper from the 1800s like you. I don't know. That looks like it was shipped straight on the Mayweather. The Mayflower. The Mayflower. My oh, bad. My Mayweather. bad. You're sounding like me over here. <laughs> it rubs off on me. You make me nervous. No, it's all it's all up here in the brain. I think, you know, two is sitting down there. He's like, the best year I ever had as a quarterback was at Alabama. And I think he's going up to the GM like, hey, Heisman, Heisman winner right here. Well, what if there's some Don't. bad blood after um, Smith said that Mac Jones is better? Ooh. Guess coming in with a good question, <laughs> man. That's a little... Uh, I, I did not. Okay, well. Do you, do you think there's any chance Miami takes a quarterback? Like, what if Fields was there for them? That's a good question. That is actually a good question. I... I'm a big Tua fan in general with all that, so I'd probably stick with Tua. If they didn't have Tua, I think it would make sense, but I don't know if they're going to move on from Tua just after. I don't years. think they should move on quite yet, but if they if they feel really strongly about like Fields or somebody on the board, I don't think you pass out quarterbacks you feel strongly about. I agree, because that also creates a little bit of competition, brings out the best in both candidates. So <laughs> I'm just fumbling around. Jeez. But yeah, I, I think that definitely brings out a little bit of the competitiveness and it's definitely going to make both of them push their hardest. But I think I would stick with Tua unless he can't show that arm strength because lately we haven't seen that out of him yet. Or lately, I don't think we've ever seen it yet. But I think if they stick with Tua right now and draft a good wide receiver to compliment him, I think that'd be a good move for them. I mean, you can't blame him. He's a... Right handy out here throwing lefty. What? You hear about what his dad did to him? No. You guys know what his dad did? Yeah. His dad, like, what, tied his right arm behind his back and made him throw with his left? Like, well, apparently, I think the dad said he was, like, the only left-hander in his family. And he wanted one of his sons to be left-handed. <laughs> so he just forced Tua to throw with his left hand his whole childhood. But he could be even better if he was using his dominant hand. 
wild news coming out of the Miami. What do you expect? It's Florida. I mean, realistically, it's Florida. Come on now. <laughs> you, you hear a crazy story and you just automatically know it's Florida. Anyways, moving on to the number six pick or seven pick, the Lions. Hometown favorite from best you know, team Malcolm. in the NFL. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. So who do you have going then? If they're the best team, they don't need anybody. That well, that's true. Obviously, we just got Goff. We got rid of all of our <laughs> offensive threats. We do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to be fair, I I would like I really want Detroit to trade back. Uh, I don't think that they really need anyone at seven, but just for like easy, I have mm-hmm. them taking uh, Slater at seven because they need an offensive lineman. Their offensive line sucks. I mean, a lot of parts of their team do, but. <laughs> <laughs> but their offensive line is really bad. So if they're staying at seven, I would like him to take Slater there because because of his uh, draft like worthiness. But other than that, I would like him to trade back and get someone else. What about you, Jaden? Um, this is where I've got Jamar Chase falling. Um, after Galladay and Marvin Jones walk, they're down to Cephas, Brashad Perriman, Tyrell Williams at receiver. That that's an awful receiving room <laughs> yeah Excuse and I, I i'm a proud owner of a brashad perriman jersey that is a brutal wide receiver room so they need to do something they need to get golf some weapons because i think golf's going to be around for at least two years in detroit i have uh micah parsons going here early to the lions i also agree with malcolm i think this is a big trade candidate spot right here as malcolm said his whole team sucks but they have what a, a super bowl quarterback so that's exciting. You know, you trade one that could never make it to the Super Bowl. You get one in return. You lose all your weapons. You have Swift in the backfield. All you need is somebody up the middle. And Hawkinson. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And TJ. All right. So <laughs> for my si- or seventh pick, this is where I have Fields landing. I have him dropping all the way down. And I think the Lions, knowing their history as an organization, I don't think they'll care about the medical requirements of Field. <laughs> what? How much do you know about the Lions' history? Well, I mean, based on their record in the last few years, I don't think they really care much. <laughs> that that is all Matt Patricia. That's not that's not the whole Lions organization. Matt, Matt yeah. sucks as a coach. We got we got DC down there now, and he's going to do great okay. Things. Okay, that's fair. Isn't he the guy that was saying bite the kneecaps? Bite the, bite the kneecaps. Hey, they're I like not going to be injured. They're going to be injured. <laughs> <everybody else. laughs> yeah. I like it. I like it. That's why I'm thinking he'll like Fields. You know, have a good quarterback, a good backup in Goff. Or do you have the backup in Fields? I don't know. And then if Fields bites a kneecap, <laughs> he can blame it on a seizure. <laughs> hey, that's a good move. See, the lights were flashing a little too much. <laughs> Moving on to the number eight pick, the Panthers. I have Rashawn Slater going. That's what I had written down. My handwriting's a little sloppy, you know. <laughs> Anyways, who do you guys have going? Um... We have the same pick here, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We, uh, we both have J.C. Horn here uh, for Carolina. I think they need a corner. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they've got a weak secondary right now. Um, played at South Carolina, you know, Carolina native. So Okay. That's that's fair. Around. I argue with the Slater pick, though, because I think, in my opinion, they need a good offensive line. I mean, you saw what happened to Christian McCaffrey last year. Granted, he is a running back. He goes out of the pocket a lot. He does some wild dancing trick moves, jumping over people. But I think they're going to need to strengthen up that offensive line to keep him healthy along with their quarterback, whether that continue to be Teddy Bridgewater, good old Teddy. You never know. What about you, Spence? So I stuck it in the... <laughs> What'd you stick it in? <laughs> uh, I misspoke there. My apologies. I kept it in the cornerback field. But I'm going Patrick Sertain here. No reason, other than you know, one went to where USC is that where? Uh, Horn went to South Carolina. South Carolina, same. So University of South Carolina. I was thinking Southern California, but same initials. <laughs> uh, so Patrick Sertine out, out of Alabama. I think that's a better pick. What were you guys gonna say? Uh, we were just talking about if Carolina, like, say, granted, maybe they trade up with Detroit, try to get Fields. Do you think? Do you think there's a possibility there of that happening? So just trading up one spot. But yeah, but that's granted they think Detroit is taking Fields at that point. If like Fields was there, do they try trading up or do they bank on the fact that if he falls to them, they just take him? I mean, I don't have it. I think that's a good point. But I mean, I don't know too much about each organization. I mean, 
Except for their records in the past couple of years. <laughs> sorry, I just keep taking shots at you, Malik. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Anyways, no, I don't know. That is a good point. I haven't thought too much about that, but it's definitely possible. The Darnold move complicates it a little bit, but similarly to like Hurst being in his fourth year and um, them needing to exercise that fifth year option, the uh, Panthers have yet to do that for Darnold. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, they traded for Darnold, but there's a chance they don't like actually seem as a long-term option. I completely forgot about the Darnold trade until just now. Same. Uh, I would agree with that. Uh, I didn't know. I, I, that was a race from my memory. <laughs> <laughs> so that does it. But I think quarterback's still an option for them, especially right. if like Fields is on the board, because I've got Fields as my number two quarterback. I mean, if he's there and they, if they like him. I, I would agree with that. I think it's interesting because I'm a big Teddy Bridgewater fan. I just like the guy. I don't think he's like an outstanding quarterback. He's a good human. The Saints fan over here is hitting on him. He went 5-0 and oh for you. I mean, yeah. When old Drew <laughs> Brees couldn't stay healthy. Don't you slander that man. He's a saint. Oh, literally and figuratively. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. So I don't know. That would be interesting to me because, well, I guess it depends on what, we, what the Panthers would have to give up. Just straight, trade up one spot to avoid somebody potentially falling to them. If I'm the Panthers, I'm not doing it. I, I think if Fields is there and they like him, you pull the trigger, but I don't think you move up for him if you're Carolina. I would agree with that. I think the Lions, I did a mock draft with them one time just because I was bored. But I just traded back every single pick. So like they should just trade back to the 8th and then say the Chargers want to trade up and just go back to 13. Just keep getting those 2nd, 3rd, and 4th round picks. Yeah, that, that's where you, you rebuild. Yeah. You rebuild with... 35 draft picks. It's true. You cut the whole because team. one of these top 10 prospects really isn't like, they're a really good player, but what is one guy going to do for their team? I mean, you got to figure like maybe 50% of first rounders actually hit, like truly hit. So if, if you can just get as many draft picks as possible, I think it's generally the move. I'll agree with that. I'm going to do a real quick hot take. Shout out to Malcolm, you know, and the Lions. I think in the next five years, they're a Super Bowl contending team. That is just my... Prediction with all these draft picks they're getting, with all these spots and everything, I think they're gonna be good in the next. I'll take a hot take. Uh, We maybe get six wins next year. (laughs) Six wins. I'm showing them more love than you are. (laughs) Six wins. If we get six wins next year, I'm celebrating. We're going out to the bars. That's what we're doing. If we get six wins, sports nut, here we come. (laughs) Not to keep throwing my guy's team under the bus, but we got a Saints fan, Packers fan, and Ravens fan. Now we're all down here at the bottom of the draft because we're finishing with good records. The Lions. So that's why they should trade back, join us at the end of the draft. Ooh. And maybe maybe they'd have a good winning mentality then. If they get a lower draft spot, maybe they're going to be like, hey, actually, low draft spot means high win percentage. Actually, oh. the Ravens are trading up with oh. the Lions. The, oh? I don't know who they're trading Ooh. up for. I'd bust a big old nut. <laughs> <laughs> Get me pits, whatever it takes. Get me pits in Baltimore. Jane's a big fan of busting nuts. <laughs> We've been stuck on this pig. We've yeah, been, we've all right, right, pig we, we got we got to move on. All right. So I think that was the Panthers. That wasn't even the Lions. Who the hell cares about the Panthers? <laughs> it was, but like no one cares about the Panthers. All right. So number nine, Broncos. Who do you guys have going? This is where I have Matt Jones falling. Mac, Mac. Mac cut cu, with a uh, C with a C because <laughs> he's thick. <laughs> no, 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 no. So I have Mac Jones going at number nine to the Broncos. I think they're going to be looking for a quarterback. I don't think what they have is going to cut it, and I think he's going to fall because. I'm just not sold on him. I'm not a huge fan. How about you two over there? I do think they're looking for a quarterback, but I think they're picking Trey Lance up at nine. I think they see more in him. I think he's better than Mac Jones. Mac Jones is like near the, I mean, he's not like worse than the other guys, but I think Trey Lance is better and I think the Broncos pick him up. I agree. That's why I had, I had him going at number three though, just because I think he's much better than Mac yeah. Jones. I think he's better. Yes. Yeah, I agree. His upside is crazy, but Mac Jones, yeah. Big fan of Mac Jones over here. He's a, he's rocking the dad bot all the time. Uh, I, similar to Joe Ingles over in the NBA, <laughs> I look at that player and I think I could make it. I look at myself every morning in the mirror, fresh out the shower. <laughs> I'm like Mac Jones, I'm coming for you. <laughs> the flip side of that, I'm also a big fan of Drew Locke, but 
Pretty Boy Drew. That's all he's got. His pretty face. Also very good dance moves. <laughs> but I think he's... I'd be happy if he was like the backup on my team. So saying that, I'm going Trey Lance here as well. I am also going Trey Lance. Wow. Across the board, huh? Number 10, the Dallas Cowboys. Who do you have them taking, Carson? Patrick Certain, the second, a cornerback. I think they need a quarterback. I think that's what the site told me they needed. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going with. Hey, both of us over here are copying you. We both also have Certain to Dallas. Okay, okay. I mean, it's America's team. So I'm following them, except I already had Sertain off the board, so I'm going J.C. Horn as of 30 seconds ago. I think that's a great pick. I like his name. I thought it was spelled J.C. Dot dot. It's not. J-A-Y. C-E-E-E-E-E-E. Oh, okay. J.C. Wait, did you say three E's? I, don't- <laughs> I think I had about five E's in there. <laughs> Stuttered a little bit. <laughs> J.C. Horn. Horn's a good uh, cornerback name, too. I was trying to think of some some good cheers, you know, for Horn in the... Horny! 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 <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. But we got the Giants. They're up on the board at 11. You know, they got Daniel Jones back there. It's been a fine cornerback. Stud. St- Malcolm says stud. What was he? What, what was it? 11 touchdowns, 10 interceptions last year? Yeah. Stud. He's also a Lions fan. <laughs> So I think sometimes his stud definition is messed up. <laughs> did, did you see that one run? I was just about to one run. I was going to say. He almost made it. But did he really? Almost. I would say that's like five yards. I think he tripped over the 25-yard line. I don't know why. What he tripped over. The it turf monster. It would have been amazing. Could you imagine if he like tripped and just rolled like 10 <laughs> yards into the end zone? <laughs> I it was the slowest fall in the history of falls. He starts falling at like the 35 and just slowly his strides are getting longer and longer trying to stay upright. And he almost jumped up and <laughs> it would have been even funnier if he like fell over and then just got up and kept running. <laughs> like nothing ever like, happened. Like all the defenders stopped chasing yeah. him because they're like, oh, he's in the end zone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I don't know who they go with here. Who do you have, Carson? Jalen Waddle, a wide receiver. And actually, I mean, I this is one that I also looked up, but I also agree with it because I think they need a wide receiver. They have absolutely no one. They got rid of Odell Beckham. A bunch of them retired. I mean, they have no one left. So I think wide receiver is a good pick up. Galladay. Galladay? They have Galladay? Oh, that's right. They do have Galladay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they still need more. Yeah. More they weapons. More. But they, they need somebody to compliment Galladay. Who's their tight end, too? Um, Ingram? Yeah. He's decent enough, but I definitely think they need more. But what about you, Spence? You guys, what about you? I also have Waddle. I don't really have much to add on him. Um, Just another weapon for Daniel Jones. Waddle runs weird. <laughs> Does he waddle? <laughs> I, that's, I was, that's what I was getting at. Oh, so, I'm sorry. I <laughs> he, stole your fire. No, you added to it, babe. <laughs> uh, no, he just, he runs like he waddles. <laughs> like he runs like a penguin. He does not have like a, and he's only 5'10", huh? Malcolm, did you have Waddle as well? No, I actually, uh, I have Devontae Smith here. I like, okay, okay. I, I think that makes sense. I mean, they're they're pretty interchangeable for me, but I just think that they're going to go with Smith. I don't know why. Gut feeling. I I like Smith myself over Waddle. I think Smith is a little more crafty out there. He reminds me of myself playing basketball. You know, just shifty on the court. You can't keep up with him. But he's got good ankles. <laughs> <laughs> That's an unnecessary we're gonna cut that. We're going to cut that one out. <laughs> That's an unnecessary shot. No bullying allowed. <laughs> Yeah, you're going to get yourself fired. I'm going out on a limb here and joining these guys. I'm picking Waddle as well here, even though he runs weird. He's still fast. He's a little short, though. I don't like short receivers. But at the same time, I don't like receivers who can't catch, which the Packers love. Uh, We like to draft tall receivers that can't catch, but I also don't want short receivers on my team. All right, moving on. That was bad. 12, the Eagles. Doug Peterson's fired, huh? I forget the name of the new guy. Yeah, I was trying to think of that. Um, But I like the new guy because he won't confirm that Jalen Hurts is starting. He's giving Flacco a chance. <laughs> we need that. It, it, it's the obvious start. You obviously start Flacco. He's way better. He's a Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> Super Bowl MVP. Uh, 100%. I'm, I'm starting Flacco. For that reason, I think they need to get Flacco a weapon. Devonta Smith. Okay. okay. I like the, the transition there from Jaden. See, in my opinion, I think that they need to get a cornerback 
And I think they're going to go with J.C. Horn right here. And a little bit on their coach. I like their coach. What he's doing looks decent right now. But the one thing I'm afraid that he's not going to do or not willing to do is bite off some kneecaps. So I just don't think he's going to be that effective. He's no Motor City Dan Campbell up there. I'll tell you that. Malcolm, who did you have here? Uh, this, this is where I have Waddle going. So I think they oh, take an okay. offensive threat as well. I think they're going to take a receiver, and I think they pick up Waddle there. I have Slater falling here. Well, I guess it's not really falling. I don't think he's projected all that high. No, he's not projected too high. I think it's more of like if a Sewell is gone, then you really have to think about taking it. Right. I would agree with that. I think he's just a big guy, you know. Let him block for you. Jalen Hurts needs somebody. The whole, like, the Eagles suck. Yikes. They beat the Saints last year. We were fighting for a one spot. Who Who was the quarterback of that game? Drew Brees. You think if old Jamie Winston was playing, you would have won? <laughs> would he have been able to see at this point? Oh, yeah. He had already had LASIK. Potentially. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. He's a family man. I love it. When he won the Super Bowl, has his kids up there with the earmuffs on, disproportional their head size. I loved it. It was so cute. I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> That was a random tangent. Do you guys know what that, do you remember that? The picture of him holding up his kid at the Super Bowl with the giant ass earmuffs that like encased the whole head. I was like 10 at the time. <laughs> that was a while ago. <laughs> <laughs> That's another shot. He was 10 years old the last time your team won a Super Bowl. I, I was 13 the last time the Ravens won, so I can't like talk trash. When was the last time the Packers won one? And, uh, I was about 14. Saints won it before the Packers, or after the Packers. I think Packers were in 09, Saints were in 10. No. No, no, no. Nope. I think nope. it's flipped. Wrong. <laughs> Packers were definitely after the Saints because I remember the Saints winning when I was in elementary school and the Packers winning when I was in intermediate school. My dad is a daily listener to this and he's a Green Bay native too. He's going to take massive offense. <laughs> He loves them. He doesn't understand the struggle of growing up in Green Bay is not a Packer fan. Okay, uh, yeah. okay. Green Bay, if you grow up in Green Bay as a Detroit Lions fan, <laughs> year after year, you are just absolutely taking the wrath. Yeah, I w hey, but he was there for the, si or was it 60s that they were bad? Or no, 90s, 80s and 90s, and the Packers were terrible. Yeah, he was. I will, he was. I was, there, I was there for the past 20 years yeah. when the Lions were bad. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> hey, but like I said, five years, next five years. Super Bowl contending team, two, two Super Bowls in five <laughs> with Goff. Hell no. All right, all right, reining it back in. The number 13 pick, I have Elijah Vera Tucker, offensive lineman. The Chargers need an offensive lineman. I think they need to protect Herbert. <laughs> Maybe it's a pretty bad pick. I don't know. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hey, we're, we're not over here talking shit. Don't okay, worry. I thought they were. I just hear whispering like all the way down here. I'm like, oh no. That's what the internet told me. All right, what do you guys think? I've got Slater going here because, I, I mean, he was still on the board. I agree. They need an offensive lineman. Yeah, uh, I also have I have an offensive lineman, but Christian Darasaw. Is that who you say his last yeah. name? Good tackle. Yeah, I have, I have Darasaw here. That's who I had. Christian Darisol. Wild! Did you write in Invisible Ink? No, I told you I got 1 through 30 up in my head. <laughs> it might change on draft night as I see him come in, but that doesn't matter. I just think, you know, they got Ryan Ramchek now. Wisconsin boy, he left the Saints because they're a bad organization. So I think you, you get one more offensive line. Three out of the five are good. My boy Austin Eckler back there, I'll draft him in fantasy again. What about the Vikings, Carson? Vikings got the 14th pick. I don't care. I hate them. I, I just hate the Vikings. They took us out of the playoffs two years. They could pick anybody. The Minnesota Miracle. I see commercials for that every single Such year. A good play. I hate it. It just hey, reminds me. You know me what I see commercials for all the time? The what? Rogers Hail Mary Miracle yeah. in Detroit. That's yeah. what I see all the time. Okay, yeah. We both have bad experiences. Two questions here. I saw you put quotes, uh, air quotes. Oh, because, because there was a penalty that shouldn't have never no, been called yeah, right no. before that? That's why? Because Detroit should have won that game? Are you talking to a Saints fan about miscalled penalties? Hey, what? Are you talking Lions to a Detroit fan about miscalled penalties? What? Are you, are you kidding me? The Rams game? The Rams game you three have years ago? Game. I got seasons, man. <laughs> I can't argue that. If the refs miss a call, did it happen? Oh. <laughs> 
I don't even know where to go with this. I'm going to go back to my pick. I, I feel like that's not a real question. Yeah, no. <laughs> that is a real question. <laughs> that just stems from when Wisconsin was in the Final Four, we had a shot clock violation against Kentucky, but they didn't call it. But we got the layup anyway. And then all my friends were like, oh, you guys won the game, blah, 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 blah. But I was like, the ref didn't call it. It didn't happen. R- so. Ref probably should have called it. <laughs> no. It sounds like you just use this when it's to your advantage. <laughs> Like a lot of things in life. <laughs> no, but I mean, no one remembers that offensive or the the penalty in the Packers Lions game. Clearly, everyone remembers the same. I, I remember though. every single penalty that's ever happened in the Packers Lions game because I'm punching the air for Malcolm. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I guess last this past year wasn't a penalty, right? It was the Marvin Jones no catch mm-hmm. when he clearly had two feet in bounds. That was a bad one as well. Why is it every single time they play, the Lions get screwed on some call? Like, I, I don't know what deal with the devil they made, but... I just think, you know, it's probably because they don't have anybody intimidating on the team. Like, you look at Matt Pat across the sideline, it's like, did he have his feet in? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you look at Dan Campbell, it's like, even if his foot's out of bounds, I'm calling it in. Yeah, I want my every chest. time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to be Derrick Rose out there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Unnecessary yeah. shot. Who did you have for the Vikings? I, say, I said I didn't care. <laughs> I'll say Jalen Phillips, an edge player. I don't know who it is. If they mess up the pick, I don't care. I hope they do. Who did you have, Malcolm? Uh, I have, uh, I might butcher this, but like K- Kawiti Payne. Kawiti, do you know who that is? Guy out of Michigan. All right. Uh, with the 14th pick, I had him picking Greg Newsom. 15, the Patriots. This is probably one of the highest draft picks they've had. I think so. I think Micah Parsons is who I have going, a linebacker. I think that's definitely what they need. I think their defense was hurting last year. They didn't have much pressure on the QBs. I think that's a good pick for them. How about you, Malcolm? Jaden? They're going to pick Mac Jones here. Uh, Ooh. He's like one of the only guys left. I don't know. Cam is probably out the door, I would assume, assume at the end of this season. No and, more Superman. Yeah. And Belichick, I mean, he likes a challenge, so he'll try to make Mac Jones the next Tom Brady, I'm sure. And he'll probably fail. But, <laughs> I mean, that's who they're going to pick there. Okay. That is the comp that flies around, Mac Jones and Tom Brady. Everybody loves that comp. So They both have the dad bod. You were just out here saying Mac Jones had the dad bod all season. TB12 is no dad bod. <laughs> TB12, when he came into the league, looked like a watered down, I don't even know, some just guy off the street. Because he hadn't developed the TB12 process yet. <laughs> Have you read his books? <laughs> yeah, he only has an orgasm once a month, and no, that came out as fake. Do you remember that? That was real? That, that, was, a, that, <laughs> that was a report? <laughs> So he does that and he kisses kids? Is that what he does? (laughs) So a little backstory. On April Fool's Day, Barstool Sports came out with this whole segment on Tom Brady. They said that he ate a certain amount of calories a day, slept a certain amount of sleep, and they said he only had an orgasm once a month. And Spencer and I came on this podcast and we're like, damn, Giselle Bunchen, if you need a little more, come on over to us. I did not say that. <laughs> Carson. No, no, no. You agreed with me. Do you, do you know that like fighters do that? Like some boxers and MMA fighters will do that. They don't like have sex or anything like that or don't orgasm. So yeah. The testosterone is all yeah, the way yeah. up. It's all linked to the testosterone. So, I mean, I, I believe it. Why not? You got to get, I don't even know. You got to keep the tea high. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Big tea high household here. <laughs> but my only question with that is like, how much scientific proof is there that it actually affects it to the level that, like, none? <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. Like, anyways, back to business. I also, I also had the Patriots taking Mac Jones here. I think it makes sense. Like Jaden said, as soon as I heard the Tom Brady comp, I said it's meant to be. He's he's an interesting player. I don't like taking Alabama players though. I think I'm contradicting myself. It's something I said earlier. But you know, if you play for the best school, you're going to be the best player. But I think the Bears listen to that too much. Because they took Trubisky over, you know, Deshaun Watson. Well, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I take that back. That probably looks like a good pick now. Now we have the Cardinals at the 16th pick. I have Greg Newsom, the second, a cornerback. So do we. Okay, I think that's a pretty decent pick for them, getting a cornerback. They don't really need anything else on their offense. I mean, they have one of the best young quarterbacks. They've got a really good receiving core now, all thanks to David Johnson looking like an MVP player. So at this point, both my cornerbacks are already off the board. Sertain and Newsom are gone. So I had him picking Caleb Farley. It's either Farley or Farley. Yeah, Farley. 
out of Virginia Tech. Don't know anything about him, but I figured he, he probably would be the first corner off the board in this class. But he had back surgery at the end of the season, I think. So that's been mm. having him fall on boards a little bit. But he's really good hey. if he can recover. I mean, Adam Schefter with the news, breaking news right out of there. Had no clue, had surgery. That's unfortunate, but you know, people recover. Modern modern medicine is a wild thing. Well, look at Michael Porter Jr. He had like back surgery, and now he's one of the best young players in the league he was ranked i think like 13 on the top 25 under 25 he's a stud great analysis there <laughs> i don't think you i just remember he had back problems <laughs> who'd you have the raiders taken Tavon jenkins offensive line that's who i got okay how about you spence what about you Jaden? Uh, I'm a, i'm also on the o-line i've got them taking the tackle dareshaw spencer's mom is calling we're gonna get her on real quick Breaking news, my dog has officially started a diet. Uh, she went to the vet over the weekend. She's a chunky girl. <laughs> hey, Mom, quick question for you, though. At 17, we have the Las Vegas Raiders. Um, they're on the clock. Who do you think they're going to take with the 17th pick? Um, Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> hey, <laughs> good pick, good pick. Trevor Lawrence going to the Raiders. We like that. Uh, can I call you back after? Okay, bye. Love you, too. Ah, uh, good. I was about to say, if you don't tell your mom you love her, I mean, well, you might have some issues. But all right, so we have one take: Trevor Lawrence going to number seventeen to the Raiders. <laughs> I think that, I had a wild unexpected <laughs> call. All right, he's gonna so take a serious you. injury in the next couple of days. <laughs> so how about you two? What about you? Yeah. Oh, they already answered. All right, my bad, Matt. How about you? Sp- You're the one that didn't answer. I'm going with my mom here, Trevor Lawrence. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a good take. All right, so now 18, we have Miami. I had Najee Harris. That's where I had him going. So I think that's a decent fit. Miami definitely needs a running back. The ones they have are, eh. Guess who do you guys have? <laughs> I also have Najee Harris. Um, I don't like like Jaden. Jaden has turned me on the no running backs in the first round. Not a big fan of it, but I guess when you really need one, maybe you take one there. Yeah, and I mean, they've had so many first rounders over the last two years now. You can afford to take a running back if you really feel that's a position of weakness at a point. I agree with that point, Malcolm. Jane's also made me realize it's, you know, running backs aren't too important. Or they're easy to replaceable, I should say. Yeah, that. like you can uh, take a guy in the fourth and he'll give you 80% of what the guy in the right, first right. does. I mean, we'll have like Trey Sermon back there at Ohio State. He was really good. Chubba Hubbard. Yeah. Contrary to belief, he's actually skinny. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, here I had Miami taken. Jalen Phillips, no real reason. Uh, and he played um, for Miami. So, you know, don't even have to leave. Oh, he played. Okay, see, hometown kid. Maybe not hometown, but college. You can just stay in the dorm for a little bit longer and just <laughs> save money. All right, so now we're going to speed up a little bit, run a little on time. So for at the ni- for the 19th pick, the Washington, I call them Redskins. That's not really... But they are anymore. Demon cats. The, oh, we call the demon cats. Okay, themselves. it's a demon cat household. All right, I like it. So the Washington Demon Cats. I think they're going to take Micah Parsons, linebacker. How about you guys? I, I also have Micah Parsons. Okay. I have them going Tevin Jenkins. Uh, Parsons already gone for me, so I'm going with the kitty. Quitty. All right, all right. That's a good pick. All right, now I have Chicago. Should we just skip Chicago? I mean, no one really cares. They're going to mess it up again. I have them going Caleb Farley. I can't. I don't think you can mess that up. But with the back injury, I don't know. How about you two? I'm going Farley. I have Farley as well here. Okay, Spence. Eric Stokes. Oh, are you pretty stoked about that pick? For the Bears, yeah. (laughs) Okay, that's fair. Then we have the Colts at 21. I have Jeremiah Asua Koraha. Koraha. A I linebacker? Have, I have Jeremiah Uusu Karamoa. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> I think it's uh, Jeremiah Oso oh Good Calamari. <laughs> oh, I like that. Okay. That's how you pronounce his name. Okay. Okay. Well, is that who you have going? Yes. I love Calamari. Cal- okay. Okay. <laughs> you keep going back and forth with the mic. Jaden, how about you? I got Aziz Ojolari. Oh, okay. You see, that's who I have going next to the Titans at the 22nd pick. Amazing. Yeah. <laughs> how about you two? What do you guys have going 20 seconds? I just realized I never had Aziz going to the first round, which is really wrong. I just realized that. But um, next, I do have Elijah Vera, Vera Tucker going. Good lineman. Okay, Spence, how about you? I have Aziz here. 
Okay, okay. Now we have the Jets. Oh, God. Another wasted franchise. I have, I'm sorry, Trevon Morig. Morig? Wait a zoo. <laughs> you guys had a zoo? Yeah. Okay, I mean, whoever it is, I feel bad for them. Waste of a talent. Going nowhere. My apologies, my condolences on your career. Um, next we have Pittsburgh. I have Elijah Vera Tucker going at 24 to Pittsburgh. How about you guys? I have uh, Travis Atini Weenie going here. I wonder if he's got a teeny weenie. <laughs> <laughs> he does. Okay. I have, is it Elijah Vera Tucker? Is his first name Elijah? Yeah, Elijah. That's the wildest spelling I've ever seen of Elijah before. I don't, sometimes I wonder how people come up with like <laughs> yeah. Scrabble, Scramble, yes, yes. Scrabble. Yes. Grandma's favorite game right there. And then I got Pittsburgh going, Najee Harris. Okay, see, that would make sense. Because James Conner's gone, right? Yep, he's in Arizona. Oh, yeah. Man, I wish we had KC down here. Next up, with the 25th pick, we have Jacksonville. The Jaguars. They just had the first pick of the draft, too. So who are they going to take anybody to protect Lawrence? Actually, I do. I have them taking an offensive lineman, Wyatt Davis. I think they really need to beef up that line. I also have Wyatt Davis. Okay, okay. Spence, what do you think about that? Wrong. Why? Wyatt Davis, second round talent. No. Going to the Packers, second round. No. You heard it here first. Jaden, how about you? I've got him going, Um, not offense, not offensive line, but D-line. Christian Barmore out of Alabama. Okay. Okay, I have him going O-line too, but I have him going with Walker Little out of Stanford. Another smart guy. But All right, and that brings us to the 26th pick, the Cleveland Browns. I have them actually taking Christian Barmore, defensive lineman. I think they really need to... Well, I don't think they need to beef up the defense at all, but I think if they add him, they're going to be really, really good. I mean, they're going to have Miles Garrett. They're going to have Clooney, or Clowney, Clooney, Clowney. Yeah, I think they're going to have a good defense. How about you guys? I think the Browns are bad regardless. Oh. Big Baker fan. I like him. So I, I, I roll with the Browns. Every time we had uh, intramural football, you always said something. I said stop the dialogue in between. But here I'm going, rambling. Every time you said I woke up feeling dangerous today. Yeah. Isn't that what Baker said? That was Baker. Yeah, I like that. But I, I always had the facial hair of Gardner Minshew. But we, we lost every single game. You walked out on the field. You said, <laughs> I'm feeling dangerous today. And we lost every. And you know what? I was feeling dangerous. <laughs> But it didn't pan out. <laughs> Not at all with the Browns. I have him going Rondell Moore here solely because I don't want him to go to the Packers. I like him as a talent, but he's like Cole Caulfield. He's about 5'7", you know, rather small. Even if you can jump higher than me, how are you going to pick? How are you going to catch over anyone? That's fair. I, I have him going Bateman here. I think oh, that's no. a really good pick for them. I know you probably want him at Packers, but I feel like Cleveland does a pass up on him. I, I can't disagree with that. 27th, Baltimore. We're going to start with Jaden. What do you think on this one? I got him going Jalen Phillips. They have no edge rushers right now. It's actually an atrocious scene on the Baltimore roster right now. If you okay. take a look at edge rushers, so you need to get somebody. I want Phillips. Okay. I have the same thing. I have Jalen Phillips as well. I have Phillips as well. I have the Calamari guy. I can agree. All right, Saints. Ooh, my team. I have them getting Jason Owa. Owa? Owa. Jason Owe. 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 I, have. I have them going. I mean, he's an edge rusher. I think we need a little bit more of that. Put some pressure on offenses. I think I like that pick. How about you guys? I got linebacker Zayvon Collins. Ooh, out of Tulsa. I have Zayvon Collins as well. Okay, okay. And then we next have the Packers. Rondale Moore is who I have. I know Spence isn't a fan, but that's who I have. I have Rondale Moore. I'm, I'm a fan of him. It's just his height, you know. If he kept growing, I'd be like, yeah, you go. He's actually a Kentucky kid. From Kentucky, so I can't. Yeah, and we're back. <laughs> I have uh, my beloved Packers going with Rashad Bateman here. I think he's very similar to Justin Jefferson, who I thought we were going to trade up for last year. We'd still trade it up, but you know, it was the inevitable Jordan Love pick. So they're going to make it right this year. Here's another thing about the Packers, real quick. I don't even care if they draft the worst receiver in the whole draft, as long as they pick a receiver, I'll cheer for him. Because they have not picked a receiver for like 20 years. So time for them to make it right. What do you guys have? I do not have Rondell Moore. I've got them going Asante Samuel Jr. We're going to save Packer fans from Kevin King. Oh, okay. I was, I was confused at who that was at first. Asante but. Samuel Jr. is my favorite corner in the draft, actually. Like, I personally just like him as a talent better mm -hmm. than anybody else in the draft. Okay. I don't know. Maybe this is just me. 
But I thought this draft is really weird to me because I feel like it's deep at almost a lot of positions. It it is a weird, weirdly deep draft. Because I know there's a bunch of cornerbacks that you can get in like the third round that mm-hmm. could add a lot of value to a team. So the opt outs made it like just mm-hmm. weird on paper. Mm-hmm. The reason I don't want him to go cornerback here is there's one in the third round. I don't know how to say his name, but it's like a Fetty Martini something. <laughs> Fetty, yeah, it's Fetty Wap. <laughs> Hell, one-eyed guy is better than Kevin King out there. Who do you have the Bills take? Asante Samuel Jr., a cornerback, which I think fits really well with their team. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I I think... (laughs) Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's who I have going to the Bills. I think he fits really well with them. I think that's definitely the missing piece there, Puzzle, because everything else, in my opinion, is pretty solid with them. They got Diggs, decent running back. I think that's who they need. What about you two? Uh, I have Gregory Rosu, Rosa, however you say that. That's who I have them picking. Who names their kid Gregory? Stop naming kids Gregory. <laughs> it's like a 50-year-old name. Like, when I hear Gregory, I think of like an 80-year-old man. I just, I don't know. I just feel bad for kids named Gregory. There's also other names. Renee. Spencer. No, 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 no. <laughs> See, now that was unnecessary. You know, there's some there's some names out there that you feel you only get once you turn forty. Bob. Yeah. Dick. Yeah. Paul. <laughs> Paul. <laughs> Shout out, Paul. Uh, I've got a teeny weenie. A teeny weenie. Yeah. I, 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 I don't know who it was. I think it was like their GM or somebody was talking about their running backs, and they said they didn't have a home run hitter on the roster, which I don't think you should be saying that about your own running backs. But yeah. Um, you know what? I, I think they go get it right here. A teeny weenie. You know what? We need to get a jersey of him. We'll hang it up in the backdrop, a teeny weeny. You know how amazing that he will have Ray Rice right above him, his predecessor. And then right under that, we'll have a teeny weeny. I love it. I think we should try to sponsor him. That could be like Pat McAfee's got McAfee and AJ Hawk Sports Talk. We got cocktail wieners and a teeny weeny. <laughs> As two teeny weeny having guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, going back to Baltimore. Jaden, go back to you. Uh, I got him going Bateman here. Okay. You know, Packers passed up on him, and Ravens are going to capitalize. Sounds like something Packers would do. The sad thing is I expect it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How about you, Malcolm? What do you think? Uh, I got Alex Leatherwood here. He may not be, like, the best of the best, but at that point, 31. It's their second first-round pick. I, I feel like they can take him. There. I agree. You can't go wrong with a name like Leatherwood. I like it. All right, and our last and final pick the, uh, the 32nd tampa bay honestly they don't need anyone in my opinion they don't need anyone so it doesn't really matter who they add i have them going Can- Kadarius tony a wide receiver i don't think they need another wide receiver i just think that's what the website told me they needed so <laughs> i'm just rolling with it i haven't taken rondell moore here what about you guys uh, I have a receiver as well, but I have uh, Terrace Marshall Jr. I uh, like Terrace. I have him taken there. Stop. I like Terrace. He's tall, too. Tall, skinny, yes, can great. catch. That sounds like my kind of woman. I, I'm i alone here and not having them go receiver. Um, I've got him going edge rusher, Jason okay. Owe. See, I've never even heard of that guy, if I'm being honest, where he played. I just realized I didn't have Devontae Smith being picked in my top 32 at all. Hey, if he's at 31, we'll take him over yeah. eight, man. I was like looking at that. I was like trying to find him on my list. And I was like, ouch, I really don't think I have him. You know, that's okay, though. He's small. His ankle's going to break if he just takes a cut. So so in all honesty, where did you get that piece of paper from? <laughs> my own ingenious invention. No, I just looked up a couple sites. I think one was NFL.com. Another was CBS Sports. I just mixed them together. But obviously, I mixed them at the wrong point. <laughs> Because I didn't have Devontae Smith. I'm not talking about your picks. I'm talking about the paper. I have not seen... Like, that. that's something... That's like a love letter my grandpa wrote my grandma in the 60s. No, it's just like a notebook. Or like a note paper to write notes for yourself on. No, no. It's just like a... a to write like your daily things that you need a to notepad. do. Yeah, a notepad. There. That's, the, that's what I was looking for. A notepad. I just ripped it out. And it's a little bit now crinkly because it was in my backpack. So... I really took a lot of care on this thing. I think you should get it framed. Closing questions. Rapid fire. Who's winning the Super Bowl? Saints. Ravens. Packers. Rams. Stafford is leading the Rams to a Super Bowl. Okay. Of I, I actually kind of like that. Hey, I I'll give another take. I think the Browns are going to be really I, good. 
<laughs> their <laughs> roster is so good. I like it. I love it. I was going to say them as my second. I genuinely don't think there's a hole on the roster. That's the thing. Mm, the only ba- Baker is not why I feel confident. I do have to say that. Baker is the white version of Zach Wilson. Yeah, what's wrong with that? I like it. Wait, what? He's a step what? up. <laughs> <laughs> I, like it. I like it. And in my opinion, he's at home in Cleveland. Have you ever seen those commercials at home with Baker Mayfield? The whole stadium. He loves it there. And also, he's the watered down, more respectable, less respectable version of Johnny Manziel. And I love it. I love it. He reminds me just, he's just like Johnny Manziel, only a little bit Do you really think the Saints have a chance at winning the Super Bowl this year? Yeah. (laughs) Come on. (laughs) That'd be like me saying the Lions. I'm not going to lie. Okay, well, our cap space issues are resolved. So, I mean, we have that going for us. We still have Winston, and he got LASIK. That's good. (laughs) We still have have Elvin Kamara. Who's a beast, and we have Michael Thomas. I think that's all you need. And we got a good defense. Why are you looking at me like this, Spence? Because if you are banking on your quarterback being better because of LASIK eye surgery, <laughs> you're in, you're in trouble. He couldn't see. That's why he threw like fifty interceptions, like thirty. Yeah, thirty. What a thirty for thirty. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good. I like that number. Do you have any other rapid fire questions? Sleeper draft picks. Talking third, fourth, fifth round that you think could be end up being uh, the what's best his, What's his face from Whitewater? Uh, Cole Van Lannan. No, not Cole oh. Van Well, Cole Van Lannan could be one, but what's the guy from Whitewater? Yeah, the offensive Mariners lineman or something like from Whitewater. Yeah, yeah. I also agree with that. I'm going with Rashad Wild Goose here, the best name in the draft. <laughs> he also played for Wisconsin. I think he's going to be really good. Good cornerback. Hope the Packers take him in like the fifth round. Jane, what about you? Uh, I like Nico Collins out of Michigan. Uh, Harbaugh, Harbaugh connection. I, I feel like the Ravens end up taking at least one Wolverine in a draft. I, I feel like Jim is just able to talk one up enough to where John, you know, gives in. So I think Nico might be the guy this year. Do you, do you think they actually like communicate? Like, yeah, I think they do. Wow. It, because yeah. it's it's like a drum. Every single year, you get your one Michigan player to, to Baltimore. That's interesting. Okay, my one last question that I have: Who do you think is going to be the rookie of the year? Offensive and defensive. Oh, um, it really depends on where Fields go. Fields and at the 49ers or the Broncos, he could see a lot of success there, and I think that he could get really good numbers. So I might just put it on him right now. Okay. But, I mean, Lawrence should do well, I feel like, in Jacksonville. Okay. But I'll just go Fields to be different. Okay, I'm going to go with Zach Wilson. I think he's going to do really well if he goes to the Jets. I think it's because that's all they're going to have. I think it's going to force him to throw a lot and make those plays. I'm going to go with him. How about you, Spence, Jaden? I'm going out on a limb here. The very first offensive lineman is going to win Rookie of the Year. Panini? Sewell? I guess I'll go Chase because I think if he ends up in Miami or Cincinnati, he could have a lot of statistical success. On defense, um, I don't know. Maybe that there's not like a there's not a stud. There's not a Chase Young in this class. So, I mean, maybe just one of the back end edge rushers. I'll agree with that. I'll just say in general. I actually, I think it's going to be a cornerback. In general, I'm just going to generalize it and say it's going to be a cornerback. I do think that Wilson's going to be a bust. There's too much film on him underthrowing all of his receivers time and time again. I think NFL corners are going to have a field day with them. It is another good question. Who's going to be the biggest bust? <laughs> uh, Mac, Mac Jones. <laughs> yep, Mac Jones. I disagree. I very much dislike Zach Wilson. Um, so I'm going to take him as my biggest boss. I don't think landing in New York really helps him. but I'm going Jalen Waddle here. His gate's just off. He's going to be like Zion, but not good. This episode was an experiment for sure. First of all, we want to thank Malcolm and Jaden for coming out. We appreciate it. We like your inside expert. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Expertise. <for> <laughs> <laughs> expertise what i meant inside to say <laughs> okay you know i need to stop oh, talking we know all about inside <laughs> they are self-proclaimed inside experts carson's walking off the set he's got to go to class jonathan i'm thinking about you every time we close an episode so here's the ending just so you know it was a friend back home he said he was listening and he thought his airpods died because we just ended it oh. and didn't tell him it was ending so well <laughs> I guess Carson ended it. <laughs>